Hello everyone, Cretaceous Zilla here, back with another video. And just recently, something just arrived on my doorstep that came all the way from Japan. Uh, right here. So, yeah, this is the package right here. It will be easy to open right here. So, well, I guess, because, you know, let's just open it. I mean, I don't need any scissors or any tools or anything. I just use my hands to open it. Oh, here it is, right in here. Let's see what it is. Can you see? Can you tell? I'll do a little guessing game here, and that's what do you think is inside here? Leave your thought, leave what you think is in here in the comments section without cheating, and you'll possibly win a prize. Well, okay, I know you're not gonna do that, so let's just see what's inside here. And oh boy. Bam. Can you guys see? Godzilla 1964 from the Bandai Movie Monster series. Let's smell the packaging. Man, it smells like it came from Japan. Alright, Godzilla 64. This is actually a new Bandai Movie Monster series figure that just came out. This guy is also a Godzilla store exclusive as well. And just trying to look on here for any smudges or anything. Here's the tag as well. Really nice looking tag with Godzilla 64 with the Godzilla, you know, trademark on all the figures there. As well as this is really interesting, the back of the tag with not Godzilla's dorsal plates, but Godzilla's hands. So, yeah, this looks like a really clean, awesome figure. Really love this figure. I love the Godzilla store exclusive figures. I don't have many of them, but they're very detailed figures. But let's take a look at some comparisons here. This one, first one is Godzilla 73, as well as Gorosaurus. These are the only Godzilla exclusive, store exclusive figures that I have in my collection, just so people know. And 64 is now added to that, so that's really, really cool. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison between them right there. And as you can tell, I'm not too sure. He might be bigger than Godzilla 73, but yeah. Next up here, I am actually recently got this guy. This was an awesome find, just so people know. I got this guy for $50 with the tag. And that's the Bandai Godzilla 93. Man, here's the tag as well. I'm not um, taking the tag off this guy because, I mean, it's really rare to find a tag of this guy. But this one, I think, is a 2002 re-release. So that is really, really awesome. But and I got that guy for $50 in the box of toys as well. So that is a sweet find and definitely worth the price. So that's really cool. The detail on this guy and the paint is absolutely incredible. Obviously, because this guy's a Godzilla store exclusive, which I've said that a billion times now in this video. The detail, as well as the dorsal plates, just looks so fantastic. And I know there's no paint on the end of the tail, but it really doesn't matter because I think it wouldn't have looked so accurate. But here's a look at the face as well. And the head is really well detailed and very well painted. You can even get to see some red inside Godzilla's gums and inside his mouth, which looks amazing. So, yeah, that's the Godzilla 64 figure. He looks incredible. Nice addition to the Godzilla collection. Really, really awesome. So, yeah, here's just a look, bit of a look around him. I'm not really making a review for this guy already. This is just an unboxing. But so far, amazing figure. Anyways, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next adventure.